everybody and welcome to another quick tip video. This one's probably not going to be as quick as quick sounds. <laughs> There's a lot of actually I want to dis discuss in this, but since it's a tip video, I don't, don't want to have too many different tip series. Hmm, maybe I should rethink what I just said. But anyway, uh, I'm going to make it a quick tip. I'm going to make it as quick as possible, but I want to cover a lot of things because it has to do with... Picking up games and toys in the wild. Pickups in the wild, basically, is the name of this video, right? So, um, it's it's got to cover a lot of different things. Um, I'm not going to cover, you know, preset meetings or, you know, if you have a flyer out and they called you or somebody called you and you're going to go pick up. I'm not going to cover I'm, I'm talking about, you know, on-the-spot pickups like yard sales. And um, if you go to an auction or online auctions. So I'm going to cover some of these things and give you some tips in each of these areas and it's up to you what you do with these tips obviously but these are just my impressions and my feelings about them. So first off let's talk about yard sailing. This is probably the most common way for anybody to pick up retro video games. Old toys like G.I. Joe's or Transformers all this stuff, and probably one of the cheapest ways, honestly. The biggest problem, though? Everybody knows about it. Everybody's doing it. So what can we do to combat the people? And that's the kind of tip I want to give you about yard sales today. So, I've been yard selling this whole summer. And I am at a disadvantage than more than most people, I think. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, um, most people that are watching this video, most people in my area have the same exact disadvantage because of the geography. And that is, I am on a coastal town. I am in a tourist area. In fact, my area is bigger tourist area than most places I've ever been to, except for like Orlando and some other places, like maybe in North Carolina and the Keys or something like that. But there is a big attraction to where I'm at, and it's because there's uh, water, or, uh, a seaside water park and theme park, and there's lots of roller coasters, and it's very kid-friendly and family-oriented. So a lot of people come on here on vacation during the summer big beaches too. I mean, the beaches for more than twice the amount of people we actually get every year. So that being said, that increases the number of people who actually who go yard sailing. And during the summer is peak yard sale season. That's kind of a bitch for me, right? I'm at a disadvantage. So what do I do to combat shit like that? Um, my biggest thing is this. I try to go to the yard sales that aren't advertised in the circulars or penny savers or what have you people will advertise your yard sales online or in the in the uh, penny savers or papers or what have you and this you know every yard sale I go to I see people with a you know a paper in their hand of where the yard sales are gonna be going how they're going to them unless so I look for the ones that have the signs on the road maybe the signs that aren't too well written they're hard to see. Um, sometimes these signs are placed in odd locations as well. Maybe the person isn't used to having a yard sale, so they don't really know what they're doing, and they just put a sign on a tree. Hey, oh, this is good enough. Let's go. And now, these are the kind of things you should be looking for if you're having difficulties scoring items at yard sales. Because if it's in the paper, everybody else is going to that too. Not to say you're not going to find anything at these yard sales. It's just that everybody else is going to go to them too, so you're going to have to get up at the fucking crack of dawn to go and get those deals, okay? And I'm not one of those people who likes to do that. Most of these people have yard sales, say, earliest I've seen is 7 a.m., okay? I know people who are at their doors at 5 and 6 a.m. People complain to me all the time about this. And I'm thinking to myself, why? Why, why are you inconveniencing other people for your own gain? And to me, that is not the type of person I want to be. Um, I don't want to have to be the person who inconvenienced someone just so I can get the score before everyone else does. That's horrendous. I, what kind of person are you 
that you have to do that. Yeah, oh, I'm feeding my kids. Yeah, you're feeding your kids at the expense of someone else's displeasure. That's like those freaking scam callers that call your house. Uh, I mean, it's not as bad, but it's similar. Like, oh, oh yes, I'm from Microsoft. You have virus on your computer. No, dude, I don't have a virus on my computer. Go home and think about what your life choices are. Do you want your kids to know you're scamming people to make a living? I mean, honestly, the people who get up at 5 and 6 a.m. in the morning are not scamming people. And I'm not saying they're bad people either. But you got to know that these people who are having the yard sale say this yard sale starts even at 7 a.m. You come to my house at 5 a.m. Um, hello, 7 a.m. Yeah, but I wanted to be here first. Too bad, go away. But these guys are pushy. I had one lady tell me about this uh, jewelry guy. He, she was there for jewelry, I said. Oh, he kept on pushing me and pushing me and pushing me until I finally found an old stopwatch and said, get the hell out of here. I mean, really? And I, and I know video game people do it, and I know you all don't do it. So please don't kill me in the comment section. I know you all don't do it. And I know even the ones that even go there earlier than they're supposed to are not always pushy. But a lot of them are, and it's kind of fucked up, if you ask me. So, to avoid all that, and just to clear my conscience so I can live with myself, I start out at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., depending on when I feel like that day, and I go. And I look for these yard sales that aren't advertised. And I get get decent um, finds. Um, today, I found a Game Boy Advance, not the SP, the original Game Boy Advance, with uh, 1, 2, 3... About six games. Two of them were Pokemon Emeralds. One had no label, one did. Ten bucks. Had some other games, too. Um, I found s four DS games, two dollars a piece. One was some complete, complete and pox, Tetris DS. Um, another one was Mario Kart DS. Another one was Super Mario Brothers. All good finds for two dollars a piece. And I also picked up a PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 1. About 10 games. 10 decent games. I mean, they're not great. They're not going to win me any freaking awards, but... You know, I got an interactive CD. Sealed. Never been opened, this interactive CD. Madden 2000. Yeah, 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 I know. 10 Pen Alley. I know. Then we get to Area 51. Tekken 3. Resident Evil's Director's Cut. All these are complete in box, by the way. And in good shape. Evil Dead. Gran Turismo. And a PlayStation with two controllers and all the cords. In really decent condition. And I didn't have to get up with the crack of dawn to find this. Because. Because. In fact, these were one of the last stops I made at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the afternoon. People who are watching this video, they go to... Um, you know, they get up in the crack of dawn because they know everybody goes to these uh, yard sales looking for stuff in the morning and say, oh my god, you got Pokemon at 11 o'clock a.m. That's almost unheard of. Yeah, it is almost unheard of because I go to these places at the right times and that aren't advertised. I look for the signs on the side of the road. Sometimes I go up and down streets. Sometimes they don't even put signs out. That's my quick tip number two, hunting for games, part one yard sales next one will be part two auctions watch it if you like my video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe comments down below and please any questions ask I will answer and as always thanks for kicking it retro with me